Hello and welcome, I am your Code Monkey, and this is a quick tip for sorting sprites in a 2D game. I usually work on a front top-down perspective, sort of like Pokemon Red and Blue, which means that in terms of sorting, that sprites that have a lower world position should appear on top of sprites that have a higher world position. So this tree in here with a Y of 3 should appear behind this one with a Y of minus 6. And the player here should obviously update its sorting and show up in front and behind depending on its moving position. Okay, let's start a new C Sharp script. Name it position renderer sorter. So in here we're going to have a private field for our renderer and we're going to grab it on the await my renderer equals game object dot get component of type renderer. We're using renderer so that in this case it can work with both the mesh renderer and the sprite renderer. So the easiest way to calculate our sorting order is to have a number that will function as a sorting order base and subtract our current position from it. So let's create a private int sorting order base. And down here, instead of the update, we're going to use the late update to make sure that this executes after this transform has moved and set the my renderer dot sorting order to our sorting order base minus our transform dot position dot y. And cast this down to an int like that. Let's make our sorting order base serialized so we can set it in the editor and give it a default value of, let's say, 5000. So now in here, add it to all of our positions. These are using the sprite render and I have the player here using a mesh render. And since we're using the renderer, it works with both types. So let's test it out. And as you can see, the player is correctly showing up in front and then goes behind. Now, the one problem that we see here is that it's changing on the player's origin, which happens to be about his neck. Obviously, we want this to only change based on the character's feet. So let's add a simple offset. Let's go back to our script and add a new private int offset. Make it serialize as well and default to zero. And in here, we're going to subtract our offset as well. So now when we go up to our body, we can set the offset to minus 10. And now there you go. It is pretty much correct on the feet. It is changing. I can move back and forth and everything is correctly being sorted. So for another minor improvement, we can add a toggle to only run once, since all of these objects never move, so it makes no sense to constantly update it every frame. So let's go back in here and add a private bool run only once. Let's default it to false, make it serialized. And here, if you have run only once, then destroy this. So now if we have run only once, it will, on the first update, set the sorting order based on its transform.position and destroy itself so it doesn't waste resources. So we want to apply that to all of our fixed sprites. So all of these will run once and then this script will destroy itself. Yep, all the sorting is still correctly working. And as you can see in here, they no longer have that script. Great. For another minor performance improvement, let's just make sure that this doesn't update every frame since it's probably not necessary. Let's add a private float timer, private float timer max, and put it at 0.1f. So essentially this will only update every 100 milliseconds. And on our late update, we're going to decrease timer by time dot delta time. And if timer goes under zero, then we're going to reset the timer and set everything the same. So this way it works exactly the same, but now it will only do the calculation every 100 milliseconds. So it doesn't really affect much, but still, 
the effect is the same and every little bit helps. And there you have it, a very easy way to correctly sort your sprites in a front top-down perspective. So if you have any questions, post them in the comments and I'll do my best to answer them. Alright, see you next time.